Hi kids, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and tonight we're reviewing the uh, the Venti um, teleprompter. Now, I put it together earlier. Uh, you'll see that segment after the intro where I talk about it. Yeah, you know, it looks like a jigsaw puzzle, and it was a bit difficult, and there were some issues with it. Some issues I have with it, mostly because I can't use this cool fill light, and I just don't have enough lighting in the little studio here to uh, compensate. <coughs> uh, I did use it with the Alcatel just to check it out. Yeah, with the camera mounted behind it, I didn't save that video. But I did shoot a video showing the text scrolling up onto the teleprompter. Works like a champ. I'm thinking I'm going to have to put the high book in it. Because no one wanted it. And the high book is considerably larger. Now this item did have a few quality control issues that I found. One. When I first was playing with it, trying to shoot videos on it, you know, and it worked okay, except it had this weird reflection. Uh, where the hell is that coming from? Well, it turns out the shroud isn't jet black. It has holes in it. I mean, it's kind of a porous material, and I had my monitor. It's sitting right behind us here on... And the light was shining in and reflecting back. And I'm like, well, that's horseshit. Uh, if you're to put a shroud on something, make it out of velvet or felt or something solid black. Number two quality control issue. It has, it's supposed to have six of these little push pins that you put in to put it together. And uh, it came with five. Now, if you're going to send something out to a reviewer, it'd be a good idea. It would behoove you to open the package and make sure everything is in there. It just would. Uh, now, that wasn't a problem for me. I got a bunch of, like, I got some soft rubber bumper material that I was able to, you know, twist up and shove in a hole and push in with a screwdriver and cre essentially create a push pin. I could probably get one from work also. We use push pins at work all the time, even as small as this thing uses, because uh, cars use a ton of those. That's what holds your inner fenders on, your trunk liners. There's a ton of push pins. You know, I made to go in once and be very difficult to remove uh, but overall the quality was pretty good I mean obviously for 29 bucks you didn't expect this thing to be a tiger tank and obviously once it's set up on a tripod it works just dandy unfortunately I can't aim the camera properly and I don't have enough fill light in here to compensate for the fact I'm losing the fill light right up here on top of the Impulse selfie stick. Which makes me relatively visible. So, other than that, my overall impressions after unboxing it are pretty good. Uh, Next, we're going to have a little more intro uh, coming from a handheld shooting using the ZTE Axon M. Make sure to check all the links in the description below, including the one for the Leventi, which I'm now recommending. I don't see a thing wrong with it. I just see minor issues. And there'll be more follow-up videos. And I'll figure out a way to use it. Or maybe somebody will send me some 
LED fill lighting. That would be cool too. Until then, let's go to the next segment. All right, folks. Here we are shooting the uh, second part of the intro. And as you can see, we have the Mie 2 sitting down here. And you can read the script up on the screen. And it's pretty cool. Uh, personally, I think I'll use the Chewy High book and set it on there. Since none of y'all ever decided you wanted to win the Chewy High book for free, guess what? Losers. All right, so we're gonna get to the uh, second part of the video right after this. Uh, you can actually see the camera mount back there through the screen, and you could record on the camera. I tried it a few times. <sighs> to put it mildly. With the limited amount of room I have and a limited amount of fill light, uh, I had no way to get the fill light from the Empow selfie stick up here. So, uh, yeah, we just uh, skipped all that and went straight over to shooting on the good old Mi A2 for this part, and we'll shoot the intro. Uh, the old-fashioned way. Screwed to the selfie stick. Without a script. We don't need a script just to get started. All right. Uh, going to the intro now. Hi folks, I'm back. Uh, I apologize for the fact we never did a full unboxing segment. Uh, I can tell you I ripped it out of the box here because it came with a full strip that I managed to find. Thereby breaking down my normal retarded uh, unboxings. And everything came in the big plastic bag. I'm going to show you some pictures. Uh, the only thing left in here is, uh, this stuff to mount a camera to it, and, uh, 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 they did provide a Bluetooth controller and a few more rubber pins, uh, which I'm going to probably stick on the, uh, sides, because we're probably going to put the Chewy High book in it. Because I did that giveaway and no one cared enough to uh, enter it. And nobody cared enough to watch the whole thing. And the one guy who did. Didn't answer the reply that said send me your damned email. You have 24 hours. And he has a history of going. Well I can't find your email address. It was in the damn reply so he's out so we're not giving it away now so I'll probably put that on there I'll figure out a way to use it now of course if I had some fill lights that would help a lot because that was my big problem with this thing no fill light therefore no decent video when I was talking to the screen and of course it's hard to aim but even if I aimed it right we would not have any fill light it's relatively flimsy I'll give it that but it's a teleprompter once you set it up it's set up the video they provide and I, I am going to have the link in the description below. Read that, please. I'm still recommending them. 
you know, for 29 bucks, you can't go wrong. They had some quality control issues. So these are all covered in the intro. I'm assuming you watch both segments of that. And, uh, they're minor. Obviously, the material in the shroud should be fully black and not allow any light to pass through. That drove me nuts for over an hour. I mean, I shot like three videos and went, what the hell is that stupid reflection? Until I really realized it was light coming back through. And last but not least, it kind of sticks out when it's hanging. One more cheap paper clip or some Velcro on a properly made shroud would really help. It's still worth your money. So, that's... Oh, and it did come with a Bluetooth controller. But since we have the MPOW selfie stick, who the hell needs that? Ah, uh, not me. You might. But the bottom line here, of course, is... Uh, it just... Without the extra fill light and all the good gully extra lighting provided by that. Yeah, we're uh, unable to say I would use this every day off my tripod. But I, I'm going to figure out a way to set it off. To the side and prop it up and use it that way as a teleprompter screen. That'll work for me. It would work very good for you. Get a camera or another device and a lot of room behind it and no extra light. I mean, if you're outside, you're still going to get those reflections coming through it. So, just be aware of that. Check the links in the description below. It's There'll be several more videos on this. Maybe somebody will send me some LED fill lights that I can mount over here or over there. And we won't have to worry about charging the phone on the selfie stick, which takes like two hours every night. That's all I have, so if you found this useful, informative, or in the least bit interesting, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave some feedback, and make sure you like us. And subscribe. And that's all we got. Catch you in the next one.